Brother Tarullis picked up two dibbons who had been cutting a fancy jig upon the tabletop. Stern-faced, he wiped honey from the little one's foot paws before placing them down on the floor. Really, Father Abbott, do we have to put up with this sort of rowdiness at mealtimes? All this shouting, singing and dancing, it isn't very dignified. I think it sets a bad example. Glissom, who was still applauding the music and dance, shook his head. Oh, no, brother. It was such good fun. I vote we give Laird Bosey the job. Any objections Brother Tyrrhus attempted were drowned out by cheering red wallers and squeaking dibbons. Bosey put away his instruments. Spotting a half plate of scones, he sat down and attacked them vigorously. <coughs> my thanks to you all. I'll do my best to be worthy of the task. He waggled his long ears at Brother Tyrrhus. And you, my friend, practice smiling. But watch your face doesn't crack and fall off. Tyrrhus stalked off in a huff, whilst Bosey helped himself to what was left of the spring vegetable soup. He winked at Bisky and Dwink. A wee word of advice, laddies. Always see the table as well cleaned afore you leave it.